everyone. I'm back in my lab. I'm glad that you came to join me. I think rainbows are one of God's most precious creations. I think it is just so beautiful to look at. And so our story today involved the first rainbow that God made, but I wanted to show you how we could make a rainbow too. This is called a walking rainbow. Now I've got to put on my lab goggles since I'm in my lab. Now, the past two experiments I've told you, you couldn't try this at home because they uh, were a little bit more dangerous. You can't try this one at home either, but not because it's dangerous. It's because you need paper towels, and these are like gold right now, so your parents understand that. So you can't just go take nine paper towels without mom and dad saying it's okay. So just watch and see. So this is a simple experiment, but it's really super cool. All you need are nine cups, and I just have little uh, clear um, party cups, and since we can't have any parties, I don't really need them for anything else. And it's just plain water, and then I added food coloring. Now, I added food coloring in a very special order, and I'll explain. There's just plain water, an empty cup, a red cup, an empty cup, a yellow cup, an empty cup, a blue cup, an empty cup, and then I'm finishing off with a red cup again. So I have a paper towel here. This one I'm not going to use in the experiment, but just to show you what I did. All I did is take it and fold it over and over and wrap it. So I'm just making it kind of tight. It's hard to do at this angle, but I just wanted to show you. I'm not doing anything special to it. I don't have to fan fold it or anything. I'm just trying to crease it down over and over so it's kind of tight and then I tore a little bit off of mine just to make it a uh, size for these cups you might not need to do that so this is going to be the walking rainbow so I want you to try and guess and see if you can imagine what this is going to do when it's all done so I'm just I made um, eight of these paper towel uh, ribbons and I'm just placing them into two cups at a time so I just had them ready ahead of time just so you didn't have to sit and watch me fold over and over again all right and here is the last one so I have the colors, it's just water and food coloring, nothing else. Now here's the problem, this is gonna take about an hour. So we're gonna keep checking in on it, okay? But I don't want us all just to have to sit here and do nothing for an hour. So we've got a little timer set here and see if I can reach over this bar and hit start. And so we're just gonna come back and check every 15 minutes or so and just see what's happening. See you soon. So it's been just over 16 minutes. So just see a close up. Do you notice anything happening? Are those empty cups still empty? Just watching and waiting. So we're right at 30 minutes. Can I time that better? So look and see what is happening up close to this. Hmm, what is that empty cup in the middle between the red and the yellow doing? What about that cup that was empty between the yellow and the blue? And the last empty one started out empty between the red and the blue interesting let's give it a few more all right so it's been just over 47 minutes so not quite an hour and it's already um about done with what it's going to do but isn't this cool remember we started with um plain water an empty cup and red so it's still red this is still plain water but this isn't empty anymore then i had an empty cup it's not empty at all. It has orange water in it, the mixture of red and yellow. 
Then I had my yellow cup. It still has yellow in it, but it was almost full. Look how much water has walked away. And then this was an empty cup. It has green water in it. I didn't come put green food coloring in it. It was a mixture of walking water from the yellow and the blue. Yellow and blue make green. Then the blue one was almost full. It's still blue, but look at how much water is missing now from it. It's in our paper towels and has moved across. And then if you can see the middle cup here is purple. And that's what red and blue make. God made beautiful colors and God made the rainbow. The rainbow is a special symbol that tells us that God is always going to be with us, always going to protect us, and is never going to flood the whole earth again. That's an amazing story from our Bible, but also it's fun to do things like this that show what an awesome God we serve. I hope you have an awesome week this week too, and I hope you're learning more and more about God each day. Love you guys. Bye.